We made a list of the best romance movies currently on Netflix for you. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we bring out new videos each week. So here's our list of the top 10 romance movies to watch on Netflix. Number 10. Love Actually it's Christmas in the summer for romance fans because one of the most beloved romance films of the 21st century is available on Netflix. This vignette-style romance follows nine stories, each examining the complexities of love. Some of the stories include the handsome, newly elected British Prime Minister falling for a junior staffer, a graphic designer searching for love despite the complication of her mentally ill brother, a little boy falling into his first crush, and much more. With a star-studded cast, Love actually is a bit soapy, but it also has some truly charming and funny moments that make it both a great Christmas movie and a high-quality romance. Number 9. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World Edgar Wright's adaptation of Brian Lee O'Malley's outstanding comic didn't find much of an audience upon its release, but over the years, it has grown into a cult classic. The movie follows Scott Pilgrim, a sweet, if slightly selfish and misguided young man who falls for delivery girl Ramona Flowers. He can only continue to date her if he defeats her seven evil exes. Scott's comfortable with the video game framework, but the film is really about two people discovering they have to get over their own baggage if they're going to find new love. Wright decorates the whole picture with video Video game tropes and fun little nods, but never loses sight of the core romantic story. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is funny, effervescent, and only gets better on repeat viewings. Number 8. Stardust Based on Neil Gaiman's novella of the same name, Stardust is a whimsical, magical adventure through a fantasy land where stars crash to Earth in human form, space pirates navigate the air, and the ghosts of the monarchy are entertained by fratricide. Long before he was daredevil Charlie Cox, named as Tristan Thorne, a young man who journeys to a magical land to capture a fallen star and finds adventure and romance lying beyond the wall he was told to never cross. Stardust is playful and fun to boot, with a vibrant performance from Michelle Pfeiffer as a badass witch on the quest for immortality. All in all, Stardust has everything you want from a fantasy adventure, from wild imagination to sweeping romance to Robert De Niro as a space pirate. Number 7. Marriage Story Fair warning, Marriage Story will wreck you, but it's also not just one of the best films of 2019. It's the best film that Noah Baumbach has ever made. The story chronicles the process of divorce, from separation to finalization, with Adam Driver playing the successful theater director husband and Scarlett Johansson playing the successful actress wife. Complicating matters is the fact that the couple shares a child, but the brilliance of Bombeck's film is that it tells the story from both points of view, so no matter which side you fall on in the end, you have a deep empathy for both individuals. Driver and Johansson give career best performances as Bombeck writes full-bodied, complex individuals, you know, like actual human beings. And with regards to the subject matter, Bombeck vividly showcases how the voices of the two individuals and the love they previously shared get lost in the actual process of divorcing. Heartbreaking and deeply human, Marriage Story is not to be missed. Every day I wake up and I hope you're dead! Dead like it! If I can guarantee Henry would be okay! I hope you get an illness and they get hit by a car and die! Number 6. Fools Rush In you don't get much odder than Matthew Perry in Sama Hayek for a romantic comedy coupling, and yet it kind of works in Fools Rush In. Three months after a one-night stand, with Isabel Fuentes in Vegas, Alex Whitman learns she's pregnant. Despite being a terminal bachelor, Alex commits fully, marrying Isabel and committing to raising the child together. Isabel's father, however, suspects Alex has bad intentions, while Alex's family doesn't feel that Isabel is a worthy spouse for their son. Pressured by both of their families, Alex finds himself torn between moving to Las Vegas permanently to start a family and pursuing his career in New York. Number 5. The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society if you're wondering about the name, the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society is the improvised title of a group that was breaking curfew in German-occupied Guernsey in World War II. In 1946, author Juliet Ashton turns to Guernsey to learn more about the society and its missing co-founder, Elizabeth McKenna. Along the way, Juliet develops feelings for a Guernsey resident, Dossie Adams, even though her boyfriend Mark has already asked her to marry him. This film deftly balances its romantic elements with the mystery and is very well made. She's fond of you. They best get back. Number 4. Letters to Juliet 
there are two central love stories in Letters to Juliet. And while one largely biffs it across the board, the long-range romance between Vanessa Redgrave's Claire and her long-lost Lorenzo is the heartwarming stuff the best feel-good romances are made of. Amanda Seyfried stars as Sophie, a young woman visiting Verona, Italy, where she discovers a long-lost love letter in a wall, where the heartbroken leave letters to William Shakespeare's Juliet, determined to discover who wrote the letter and reunite her with her lost lover, and in doing so, strikes up a charming friendship with Claire while possibly finding her own true love. It's cute, light, and absolutely gorgeous thanks to the scenic Italian setting, but Redgrave's tender performance as Claire, a woman whose life long moved past the love she lost without ever giving up that love altogether, is a pure force of feel-good charisma, and her warm-hearted dynamic with Sophie is just as endearing, even when Sophie's love life isn't. Number 3. Been So Long Not all love stories are confined to America. In Been So Long, Michaela Cole plays Simone, a committed single mother living in London who falls rather unexpectedly for a man who may or may not be living in the shadow of his troubled past. Part musical, part romance. The Netflix original is a pure portrayal of finding love during a time when life is already complicated enough. It's based on the stage musical by Shea Walker and Arthur Darvall, and as such, you can expect a modern day tale to incorporate elements of funk and soul, not to mention plenty of mood lighting. Number 2. Safety Not Guaranteed Before he took moviegoers into Jurassic World, director Colin Trevorrow's Safety Not Guaranteed offered viewers an irresistible premise, a classified ad looking for a companion to travel back in time. Seattle Magazine writer Jeff Schwenson instantly recognizes that as an intriguing story, but the movie belongs to Aubrey Plaza's Darius Britt. She's the intern who proves to be a good match for the ad's writer, Kenneth Calloway. The result is a quirky, understated romance that has a lot of heart. It's an adorable movie, from start to finish. Number 1. The Theory of Everything Eddie Redmayne received universal praise for his portrayal of the theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking in the biographical film about the man with a brilliant mind who was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, otherwise known as Lou Gehrig's disease at a young age. While the film chronicles Hawking's work in the fields of physics, at its heart is the beautiful love story between he and his girlfriend and eventual life Jane Hawking. Hawking received this diagnosis just a year after meeting Jane, and he has credited his engagement to her as giving him a purpose to live. It's a love story unlike any other, made all the more touching given that it's based on real life. The film was nominated for five Academy Awards, and Redmayne won for its lead role. It's all been rather extraordinary though, hasn't it? What are you writing? Look what we made. What movie did you like best? What movie was missing on our list for you? Tell us in the comments. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We put out new videos like this one every week. We'll see you for our next video. Thanks for watching.